Welcome here, my name is Sarah Therese and it's not very often I am verbally talking to you guys on this channel. A lot of the time I'm just filming and I plunk in a voiceover later because with five kids and homeschooling and work and music and everything else happening in the background, it is just so much easier to not have to worry about talking to a camera during my day. But there are some videos such as this one, meal planning, shop organizing, all that stuff that I just, I need to take you guys through it as I'm going through it. So that's what we're gonna do for today. A lot of requests have come from you guys to do this type of a video, especially on my Patreon, and I'm very excited. I will walk you through the entire process, when I do it, why I meal plan, how I do it, and you're gonna just see me kinda of go throughout my kitchen and get my life organized for the coming week. So today is Saturday, and whenever I meal plan, it's either on a Saturday or a Sunday, and I meal plan for the next week, if it's a Saturday, if it's a Sunday, that week, from the Monday to the Saturday. I don't typically make meals on a Sunday, if you're curious, because we'll either go through leftovers or I'll whip something up together just like really quick, or a lot of the time we're actually at someone's house and we're eating a meal there. If we do happen to have company over on a Sunday, I will make sure that I add that to my meal plan, but most of the time we're kind of out of the house, hanging out with other people, maybe a salad I'll have to bring or some bread and I can do that. Uh, but Sunday is a little bit of like a free day, which means Monday is a bit of a catch up day. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I always start at the fridge. So the reason I started the fridge is because I'm very organized, first of all, and if I can organize the fridge and see what I have, then I'm in a good space to actually properly meal plan. I literally, I organize my fridge. I've talked about this in previous videos. I organize my fridge in the same way that I organize my pantry, my linen closet, my cabinets, my homeschool. It's properly organized because a fridge is, I use it more than any other space in my home, I kind of feel like, so it needs to be organized. So this is very typical what our weekend fridge will look like. We're not overstocked. We have what we need to get through the weekend, have a good breakfast on a Monday. No, usually I don't leave my fridge open so wildly, but for the sake of my videos I do. We kind of do like leftovers, condiments, our milk, produce, some kid snacks through here. And then this is a flex drawer, which is our dairy and eggs, our cheeses, our meat, and then, our freezer. This upper portion holds all of our meat, frozen meat, beef, and chicken. Underneath that is frozen vegetables and frozen fruit. Uh, where's my phone? So now that the fridge is kind of put together, there's something I want to show you. Most of the time I can think of a meal like Boom, spaghetti, meatballs, Caesar salad, sourdough, garlic bread, like boom, there's a meal right there. But there's some times where I'm just like, what? What do I wanna make and I don't know? And I do one of two things. The first thing I always do, I go to my notes folder and I have a notes called meals. And in this is just a ton of meals that over like a couple months, I was just writing down the meals that I was making through here. They're all different, they're all yummy, we all really enjoy them. So when I feel like, what am I going to make? Like I just feel uninspired, maybe my head's a little bit foggy because it's the weekend and I'm just kind of foggy. I'll go through here and be like, okay, what do I wanna do? And I'll uncheck the ones I want to make. They pop to the top of my list and then I can have those there and ready for me to look at. Uh, a meals folder is a great idea. I use this often. You can put one together within a couple months, just whatever meal you're making, put it down, put it down, put it down. If you're not at this point yet and you need some inspiration, this is the other thing that I do. Up here, <laughs> I have cookbooks. Cookbooks are not a waste of money or space for me because they do inspire me. They can introduce new ingredients, new ways of cooking, new recipes. There's so many that I like. The anti-inflammation cookbook is great. Oh, She Glows is a classic. I also like the Edgy Veg. If you're looking for like dairy-free vegan food, that's a really good one. And Fresh Food is also so good. But if you just need a little bit of like a pick-me-up, just like, what am I gonna make? Um, Cookbooks are great, and I used to live at the library and just 
pour over cookbooks pretty much every single week when I was first married just to get some ideas. So now the fun part, which is also the hard part, is actually finding out the meals I wanna make. So a couple things. I don't plan out my breakfast and I don't plan out my lunches. My breakfast, I just lean on my usual kind of recipes. And if you haven't seen my weekly breakfast video, those are pretty much it. We love egg skillets, we love sourdough biscuits because you can prepare them the night before, freeze them, and then cook them from frozen. Like we love those kind of things. Those are what we have often, as well as oatmeal. My kids also enjoy cereal, to be honest. Lunches are usually leftovers or sandos, like sandwiches. We also love a good uh, stuffed quesadilla or like pizzas. I just plan my dinners. My dinners will be the biggest meal, the most preparation, and also the meal that will carry over to be leftovers for the next day or two. So that's where I put a lot of my meal planning uh, force and time. The first thing I do is shop what I have. But before I continue, let me tell you why I meal plan. Because not everyone does. It's not going to work for everyone, but this is why I do it. I do not have access to a garden. Um, I do not have a farm. We do not have land. So I don't have the ability to grow everything. I don't have a dairy cow. I don't have chickens. I don't have the tools for where we live specifically to have a bountiful harvest and bring in all this stuff using my own hands. I do heavily rely on the grocery store to buy my food. I've done gardens like garden boxes on my deck and that's really fun. This year though, we decided to put all our energy towards more flowers than fruits and vegetables, which I really, really loved. But then I was really relying on like our local markets to get really beautiful fruits and vegetables, which was great. So that's one reason that I meal plan. A second reason that I meal plan is because I'm a planner. Between work and homeschooling and wife stuff and mom stuff and dealing with these kids and my uh, friend's life and church life and relationship with Kieran and all that stuff, chores, errands, I'm just really busy and everything has to be planned out so I can do things effectively and well. And when I plan out my meals, which is something that does take a big chunk out of kind of my later afternoon, um, I feel good and confident moving forward through my day and also knowing I have everything I need in order to complete that task of making a meal. Thirdly is I get the opportunity to use everything that I have. When I meal plan, and I'll show you here, um, I am shopping what I have first before I shop at the store. For example, say I'm making like a chicken fried rice and all I don't have is carrots and peas, that's all I need to buy. I don't have to buy the chicken, the soy sauce, the hoisin, whatever. I have all that stuff. All I need is the peas and carrots. So that's kind of why I meal plan. It's different for everybody, but that's why I do it. So this is how I do it. Sometimes I do write it on my phone, but I really do love actually having a notepad that is constantly open that has my to-do list. And my to-do list, I will change it up every couple days because I'm scratching things off and I will make a new to-do list, but it'll always have the meals that I will be making the rest of the week down here at the bottom. I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five meals from Monday to Saturday. One of those meals is going to trickle over into the next day. So I will only have to make five meals, but I will make one big meal that will stretch us for the next day just because it looks like I'm gonna be pretty busy next week and it'll be easier to make one large meal that will stretch over to the next day because that day will be very busy for us. I first shop in my protein section, which is the freezer. I have chicken, beef, pork, salmon, pepperoni, bacon. So my husband likes protein with every single meal. I also wanna look at my calendar to see what days specifically I am more busy. Well, I am busy every single day. Okay, some simplified meals this week, simplified meals. I have a good protein base. I have beef, pork, chicken, like these things, they can, they can take me a mile. Like the weather is also cooling down, so I'm not scared to make warm recipes. And then I stand here for a long time, just feel like kneeling. Homemade. Crispy chicken ranch wraps with sourdough wraps. While I'm going through this, I'm going to start filling out my shopping list. My shopping list, I do keep on my phone. I find it easy because again, I use the check mark system. So while I'm shopping, I can just hit check mark. That item will go to the bottom and then I'll have the items I still need to get uh, hanging out at the top of my list. Crispy chicken wraps. What do I already have for this? I already have cheese. I already have my ranch. Actually, I may have to make a new bag. Nope, I don't 
think so. It's fine. I have my mustard. I have the ability to make sourdough tortillas. That's okay. I have breadcrumbs. I have chicken. I'm gonna need lettuce and tomato. So I'm gonna write that down. All I need, lettuce and tomato in order to make these crispy chicken wraps. I don't know if you've ever had it, but I'm thinking, because I love breakfast for dinner, like that tomato pepper. You like make it in cast iron, cook it up, get it nice and hot, squish it down, crack some eggs into it, bake it, cilantro, salt and pepper, bread that you dip into it, and then some sort of a protein on the side. What is that called? I don't know, but we shall call it tomato, tomato egg bake with bacon. <laughs> We have bacon, I do need to get eggs. Our eggs and milk, I get from a local farm though, down the road, which is great. I already put down tomato, I will remember to get extra tomato. Green pepper, green pepper. Cilantro, I do a lot of staring into spaces. If you do, it is totally normal, I do too. Okay, I kinda wanna do a chicken fried rice now. <laughs> Hot sauce, I have green onion, I have chicken, I have rice, I will need carrots and peas. So you can see, like my big Costco shop, I will get my proteins, my main kind of stuff. And then um, in between shops will be mostly produce, as well as my local farm for eggs, milk. I need to make mayonnaise. I don't need to buy mayonnaise. I need to make it. Whoa. I don't think I have my organic ketchup milk. That's how much we have. We're gonna have to get more organic ketchup. And I do have avocado oil for my mayonnaise, that's fine. But organic ketchup. I get organic ketchup because it isn't sweetened with sucralose or glucose. It is sweetened with organic cane sugar. So that's why I get that. It costs more, but I mean, I'm willing to pay more money for the good things that go into our body, especially because my kids eat ketchup probably on the daily. I kinda wanna make sushi. Cause I have salmon. Do some salmon sushi. That sounds fun. I'm gonna need to get some cucumber, some avocado. We have soy sauce. I still have my pickled ginger. We have wasabi, hmm. So usually this takes me about half an hour to think everything through, to organize my stuff. What can I use? That beef and pork, I just did. Tacos, beef burgers, maybe I'll do some sort. Maybe I will do spaghetti and meatballs, super simple. Homemade meatballs, hmm. With green beans for our greens, which I will need to buy green beans. Okay, so there we go. Those are our meals for the week. I have everything I need minus these items that I have to get from the store. Maybe like 150. I do have points to spend and I may do that, but that's just like a cheap shop because it's in between. I am just gonna quickly think if there's anything else I should buy. You know what, if the cereal is on sale. We buy the organic Nature Valley cereal because again, it just it doesn't have sucralose or corn syrup or whatever in it. And I can actually read all the ingredients which only have like five or six. And it's like sea salt, corn. <laughs> now I do what's called the walkthrough. I'm going to look at certain places in my kitchen. Wait, hold on. I don't have cloves. I walk through and just see what I'm most off on. So, such as, I have one banana and one onion. These are just things I like having on hand. So I'm gonna add in bananas, uh, red onion, that sweet onion, you're good. Coconut pineapple, our weekly pineapple, okay. Okay, and we're coming back to the fridge because again, I have everything I need for my meals, but there can still be certain things such as, yes, butter, I need more salted butter. If there's any baked goods I want to bake, I have everything. Again, I don't know how interesting of a video this is, but this is just how I go through it. Have lots of pickles, snacks for kids, uh, almonds, because I need to make more of my almond creamer. This is my pantry. So this is how my pantry functions. From here down is items that are uh, in stock that we're using. This is pasta and canned goods. In here is breads and extras and like sourdough tortillas, flour, cooking oils. At the bottom is where we will keep our cereal for the kids as well as like some vinegar and oils that are too high to sit here. This top area is the restock area. So this is the area that, oh, look at that, look what I see. <laughs> 
We have more organic ketchup, so I will actually, you know what? I'll take that off my list and I'll shop for it another time. This will go in the fridge, that's awesome. Again, that's why we are shopping our stash before we go to the store. Because otherwise I would have bought ketchup and then we would have had lots of ketchup. And I have these two bins up here. One is for herbs and spices to refill and one is for baking stuff that I don't use often. Icing sugar for cakes and whatever. But, you know what, I might buy these rice puffs for Edmund that he really likes because we're kind of running low on those. So this is just for my meal planning. After this, I'm gonna turn off the camera, I'm gonna go through the house, and I'm gonna see if I need anything through the house, like toilet paper or post-it notes or uh, laundry detergent, whatever, things like that. But as for now, this is, this is my list. This is gonna run me about $200 Canadian, which isn't bad for a family of seven. <laughs> but at the same time, our Costco trip every four to six weeks is a much higher bill. You're looking at more like between five to $800. So these in-between shops are small, but it's because that one shop is quite large. So anyway, just that <laughs> I think that's it. I know it's a simple video, but that's literally how like I'll meal plan and make a grocery list. It's what I have done for years. So again, I'm using everything that I have that I need to, as well as I'm just filling in the gaps. This is something I will do every single week until I go, we're, we're running dry. And we head over to the promised land, Costco, and we're able to replenish our stock. So we're able to shop in smaller amounts and batches weekly instead of having kind of larger shops every single week. If you're curious about certain things, like do I shop items on sale, couponing, um, money saving apps, I don't coupon unless I have a coupon. To be honest, it's extremely hard to find coupons nowadays. Uh, it's not easy. I'm signed up for some coupon services like where I'll get sent a coupon book but that's kind of to my area, you could say. I've been having a hard time with money saving apps because some stores won't actually accept it. So that's been really tricky. I do just buy items on sale. And if I've just noticed if this item is not on sale, this frozen corn whatever in this brand, another brand is gonna have it on sale or at least just a good deal. So that's what that kind of looks like as well. And then there are certain items that I wait for to go on sale. I don't need this right now. I can wait for it to go on sale. And if you can kind of shop with the mind frame of buying things on sale when you can, cool. But there's also that need of like, I do need this right now and I do want it organic and I do like this brand over the others. Go ahead and spend the money there, especially if you're shopping in this kind of an intentional way. You're already saving money, so uh, spending a little bit extra here and there isn't that big of a deal. Anyway, thank you for being here <laughs> and hanging out with me as I work to meal plan. This is just how I do it. So unless I decide to update my method, this is like my uh, cornerstone meal plan video. And I hope that you guys liked it. Let me know down below in a comment. Let me know, do you meal plan? Is that your thing? Is it not? Why? How do you do it? Thank you for being here. I'll see you guys later. Bye.